for a Mac OS operating system. And uh, I can check on the online simulator. We can go to the website and onworks.net and there it will be giving us a session. Okay. So through that we can uh, open it, the simulator and it will download it. Okay. Or you can also start it from the beginning. You can go to google.com and Mac OS online simulator you can type simulator online okay so it will click on this site and you can test it you can run online it will be checking for the session okay so once it starts we have to wait for the session so see onwards operating system it's starting progress even 15 seconds 14 seconds so we wait for the time We can remove these ads. Okay. And five, four, three, two, one, zero. Great. It's ready. So we can start the OS now and they are preparing the server for us so that you know we can simulate or can practice it on our Mac OS. The graphical user interface. It's preparing the image for us, the operating system image from their server. Okay. They are connecting it. Okay, great. So we have connected to our Mac OS. And here you can see the files explorer. You can this is the desktop. This is the drives, this documents. Okay, and downloads folder. Similarly, music files, pictures. So this is the entire file explorer. And the file system if you want to check. So these are the uh, OS image of like uh, Mac OS. It's purely Linux based operating system. And see they have the partition and different directories are there. Okay. So these are the boot directories in the system. Now this is the recycle bin as in Windows we can see. And this is the crash for our Mac, uh, Mac operating system. And if you want to go to file, file browser. Okay, so we, we here you can browse by internet. Okay, so this is our uh, explorer for registering it our, for online internet. Okay, so similarly we can also here go by tab and can close it if you want the applications in it you can go to file this is about firefox and you can quit if you want okay so here from it we can control plus q you can do okay so this is all about our uh, file system as well as our screen on the uh, this part okay this is the thunderbolt email this like in google we have outlook email so this in the same way if you want to configure thunderbolt uh, email address so that it would be providing us a way to, uh, to use the applications okay so here also i can wait control q control q okay and here we can say the short way this is the music directory if you want to have any music running on our system like a windows media player so here they can use our uh, music file system okay and so again i can press ctrl q to exit from it or i can disconnect it so this is the way and this is the clear contact list if you want to sync by phone so they can all the peer contact list you can save here. Okay. Let's say we click on escape. Okay. And here also I can, if you want to close, then I can uh, click on the enter button. Okay. So likewise, you can, uh, this is the machine view. We can see if you want to zoom out, the, it will be very, very small. And if you want to zoom in, we can give the interface on this. Okay. So now when we check on the peer cloud or these are peer contacts, peer PPA manager, these are the install packages or dependencies we want to have. Uh, if you start in kind of packages, if you want to install in our like in OS, we can have. So the peer package, this installation would be needed. Okay. And in the same way, system settings, if you do, so if you want to change the background, so we can change the background by any admin you want to prefer. Okay, so all the settings are there, then brightness we have to change. So lock type is open. Okay, the brightness in lock if you want to do the settings part, you have to do the language and support part. So checking the available language support, whether it's English or Hindi, it would be checking. I can also check. So if you want to install a language pack, language support, then you can click on install. 
So it will install the dependency, the password to authenticate or add or remove any software. So I don't want to install it as if now, and I can click directly on close. Or you can minimize it. Okay. This is the online accounts which we have. Okay. And here, if I want to click on clean my peer, then it would be the automatic cleanup wizard. Okay, I'm going to click on red button to close it. And this is our system setting. This is the trash like the recycle bin in Windows we have. So any uh, garbage files or any trash we have deleted. So we can find it in the trash here. And if you want to check for network, then also you can check for the network here. So mount location, it will mount it from there. And uh, then next uh, language support is there. So this is the peer cloud also. It means if you want to log in with the uh, this is sim a simulator of peer Mac OS, then you can log in and check the application, install the applications on it. This as a uh, administrator of uh, the this machine, and this machine is uh, Apple Mac. Okay, OS. This is the search bar for it, and here you can see the network. For the timing, date and timing. Okay, we can also customize it according to enable network. If you have any VPN, then we can configure it and also we can disconnect it. If you have internet, internet attached, then we can check on the wired connection. Means any LAN cable is connected. Okay, so see the LAN, uh, this wired connection is there. So this is all about our basic uh, Mac OS simulator. Thank you for watching.